Guys, I just uh, thought I'd do a follow-up video on an earlier video I did uh, showing uh, Throttle Stop, uh, where I showed how you could control the turbo boost used on Intel processors on a gaming laptop to get better frames per second. So I'm going to show you now in OS X uh, how to do a similar sort of thing. Uh, so I'm using a MacBook Air early 2014 here. And uh, obviously this is not a gaming machine, uh, but I'll, for the demo I'll do it on this machine. So let's go ahead and open up the first tool you'll need. Uh, I'm, going to use, I'm going to be using Intel Power Gadget to monitor my clock speeds and temperature as well as power usage. So as you can see, my processor is being used at its fullest right now, and the clock speed is at about 2.4 GHz uh, on this model. So, uh, what I'm doing to uh, sort of uh, stress test the CPU now is uh, using Geekbench, Geekbench 3. You can use whatever software stress program you want, but I'll use this for this purpose. So, why would you want to uh, disable Turbo Boost? Well, for a very good reason, actually. If you look at the graph here, now because I haven't had the program open all the time, you can see that there are some uh, spaces, blank spaces here in between, but if you see this dip, for instance, that's because the processor gets too hot. As you can see here, it's almost 100 degrees now, Celsius. And what happens when it does that is it's using throttling to go back and go down on the clock speed to keep your temperature at a safe uh, maximum. The problem with that, of course, is when that happens, it's easy for the frame rate to actually drop. So what you could do is disable Turbo Boost. And to do that, you download a little nifty software called Turbo Boost. It's called Turbo Boost Switcher for, for OS X. And I've got it open up here, so I can click on On, and you can see in here that it's also monitoring the temperature at 94 degrees. And I can use this button, Disable Turbo Boost. Now I want you to look over at the left to see what happens to the temperature and the clock speed. And also notice how the clock speed is actually has some spikes right now, it goes up and down, it's not very consistent. Look, what, look at what happens when I press Disable. So first I have to enter my password, and here we go. So, straight away it goes down to my base clock speed of this CPU, which is 1.4 GHz. And what you can see is, uh, along with that, the power has come down, the power consumption, obviously, but also the temperature. So, what has happened here is actually two things. First of all, the clock speed has gone down, which will give me uh, less good uh, performance, of course, but you can see that it's consistent. It's at 1.4 GHz all the time, not just uh, like it was on uh, during boost, 2.4, 2.38, 2.35, 4 again, and it goes up and down, as you can see here. It's consistent, which will give you a consistent frame rate, because this also goes along with the GPU, because the GPU in this computer, for instance, is actually built in into the CPU. So, uh, what you can also see down below here is I've gone from about 95 degrees to about 72, 70 degrees or uh, somewhere around there. So, which means that you could also use this if you believe or if you feel that your computer is getting too hot. For instance, if you like to use your MacBook in the bed or something like that and you put, uh, put it on a pillow, it's easy for it to overheat. Well, if you disable Turbo Boost, it's not gonna output as much of heat as uh, with Turbo Boost enabled, which will make it cooler and thus making it possible for you to perhaps use it in hotter places or uh, in places where you don't have as good ventilation, uh, for example in a sofa or bed. So I thought I'd show you this little trick. Uh, again, this is Turbo Booster, uh, Turbo Boost Switcher, uh, and uh, yeah, check it out. It's a free software. So uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe uh, if you want to see more of these videos, and of course leave a comment and uh, dislike or like this, whether uh, yeah, <laughs> on, depending on how you feel. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, if problems occur, we try to use this uh, tool. Just uh, Again, write a comment and I'll go ahead and respond to every comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.